Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for inviting me to speak via video message. New information and communication technologies will change the world. The Internet is not just a trillion-dollar marketplace. It is a forum where people connect, a platform for astounding innovation and a powerful vehicle for human rights and fundamental freedom. I want Europe to get the most out of this astounding force for change. I want to offer the next generation the promise of smart, well-paid jobs so we can look beyond the crisis. And that is why, as a central part of my mandate as European Commissioner, my motto, my dream, my bumper sticker is to get every European digital. You are helping me to do that through enhancing digital literacy. And that is no easy task. In future, IT skills will be central to the labour market. Even today, it's hard to think of many high-end jobs where basic IT literacy is not important on a par with traditional basic skills like reading and math. What's more, while such gener generic IT skills will always be important, there will also be an ever greater demand for ever more specific skills, from IT maintenance and security to web development and social media expertise. And who knows what else? After all, many of the jobs of the future have not even been invented yet. We have already come a long way. The majority of EU citizens now have some basic level of digital competence. But the fact remains that more than a quarter of the population have never used the Internet. And I want to reduce that to 15% by 2015. And that means getting 10,000 people to go digital each and every day across Europe. That is crucial. First, for social reasons, for those without the skills or means to get online, exclusion from the digital world will have progressively worse social implications. Because over time it will imply exclusion from information, economic opportunity, social contact, even health, education or government services. Most worryingly, those most at risk of this digital divide tend to be already at risk of isolation and exclusion in other ways. The elderly, the less educated, the poor. In short, in a world where internet access is a utility, like access to electricity, we cannot have some citizens cut off from the main network. The internet must be a tool for everyone, not just a toy for the wealthy, for the urban, for the educated. And second, there are powerful economic reasons for improving our digital skills. As a knowledge-based society, the ICT sector makes a major contribution to our productivity and growth. In Europe, it's already an economy as big as Belgium and growing at 12% per year. If Europe is to take advantage, we will have to give our citizens the skills they need to face a digital future and give employers the tools to help identify and recruit them. This is a challenge in Europe. The numbers of graduates in math, science and technology are already going down. On current trends, by 2015, the shortfall in ICT professional, the skills gap, could reach 70,000. But we need to sort this out. In the future, companies from whichever sector will look for those skills before deciding where to locate. If they cannot find them here in Europe, they will simply pack off and move elsewhere, to Silicon Valley or to India. In short, the need for lifelong learning, education, training and certification of ICT skills has never been more important. And that is why enhancing digital literacy and inclusion is crucial to the digital agenda for Europe and indeed is one of its seven priority areas. We in the Commission are taking steps in the coming seven-year period. We want to make digital literacy and competences a priority for the European Social Fund. We will develop tools to identify and recognize the skills of ICT practitioners and users. And we have also made a recommendation to Member States that they implement long-term e-skills and digital literacy policies and mainstream e-learning. We cannot achieve those goals alone. 
we are at best an enabler, a catalyst. Delivery will only succeed with the help of our stakeholders. Stakeholders like member states. And I welcome the lead shown by, for example, the UK, which has appointed Martha Lane Fox, its digital champion, and aims to get 9 million more people online by 2012. I hope all member states come to show equal commitment. And of course, stakeholders like the European Computer Driving Licence Foundation. From citizens engagement, education programmes and certification to promoting the use of e-government services and e-commerce, you are making the digital agenda dream a reality. And you have sounded a call as ambitious as I have seen. We are facing much more than a new technology. We are talking about a fundamental change to society and to human interaction. And to ensure that we make the most of that. And to ensure all citizens benefit, we need to invest in human capital and human skills. And in that project, I'm delighted to find an ASCDL, such a proactive partner. Good luck to you all.